What's up, guys? I'm Maximilian Dude, and I'm joined here by Hell Pockets. We're down at Bandai Namco's offices to check out the latest DLC character for Dragon Ball Fighters Cooler and show you what's really working with this guy. Let's get started. Uh, very excited for this character, honestly, Max. Uh, one of my favorite villains from the Dragon Ball Z universe, and I gotta say, as far as look goes, they uh, pretty much nailed it. They pretty much nailed it, yeah. I would say, personally, I always thought Cooler was, no pun intended, and everyone's gonna be saying that, one of the coolest looking characters ah, in yes. Dragon Ball. <laughs> And I'm glad that he looks the way he does, and he's got the mask, and everything's the way it should be. So, uh, in terms of playability, Cool is pretty interesting. Uh, he does get good damage, he does have some great distance on his normals, as you're displaying right now. One thing he really has that we were messing around with, his uh, medium and jumping medium are fantastic. They have huge range, and they remind me of a character like Android 21. Yeah, very reminiscent of the characters with the big tail moves. Uh, even Frieza has a little bit of that action going on, but I would say that Cool is like... The extra Frieza, you know, where Frieza usually yeah. depended on some pretty uh, situational confirms. Cooler kind of gets to confirm everything off that jump medium especially, you know? I completely agree, and you're about to do it right now. The auto combo is ridiculously easy to combo into. Yeah, even though like, I messed it up right there. It, you, you messed it up, but it's like, it's like Bardock levels of very simple. Let me see if I watch it mess up again. No, oh, you no, it. you got it that time, man. Your button presses are way more tighter than that, mine. And stuff just naturally happens. Let's go over his specials because this is probably where I find Cooler to be the most interesting. Lows are really important in Dragon Ball Fighters. Incredibly. Low attacks, and this guy does have three low attacks. His crouching medium, as we just explained. He has a fireball back key attack that is a full screen low, and you can vanish in and actually get damage off this thing. Mm -hmm. And he also has forward heavy, which is as well a low attack, and I love throwing that out because you can get it in between block strings and kind of catch him off guard between overheads and such. So. That's really cool. You want to go over his first few specials? And I wanted to talk about, you know, the special, the dive kick right there. You know, that's mm -hmm. probably not exactly as strong as it could be, I would imagine. Yeah. I want to be as positive as possible about it, but at the same time, I got to say, its biggest strength is the fact that it's an overhead, yeah, you know? Yeah, let me block low. It is absolutely it is an overhead. absolutely an overhead, you know? People are going to be slept by that at least for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's going to be working for a few days, that's for sure. And now, you, you combine that with, like, you know, something like his, his 3H into... That's got a little bit of a gap there, but at the same time, you know, it's a good mix up there. There's a high low there for, uh, for a cooler, and, you know, not a lot of characters have that in this game. So he's unique there. The nice thing about a lot of Cooler's dive kicks and his aerial specials, he does have this uh, amazing, uh, like, lunging knee kick, which is pretty much his uppercut. The light one isn't great, uh, not, invinci not invincible at all, mm -hmm. but if you did, like, a super to me, like super me right now, Oh my the god. Medium, the medium, man. The medium one doesn't even need meter, and it can knock you down to the ground, and I believe I can actually get a full combo off this. Jesus. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it naturally it's scaled, so... I mean, that's only fair, right? I mean, only come on. fair. I mean, because if it wasn't, you get you remi you're remi reminded of stuff very similar to Vegeta, where yes, he can yes. launch you up. And the Vegeta knee, obviously, being the, the DP, he has a follow-up to that, which unlike a lot of other moves, is not automatic. You have to keep hitting the button, yeah. otherwise you just get the knee. And what we also remembered and noticed is that the, the, the meter burn version of this, you can actually meter burn the beginning of it and the end. So the end costs another bar, which sets up a wonderful knockdown situation for you to approach and get in on your opponent. But if you do the regular one, you meter burn the second hit, oh, you still get the knockdown. So that's gonna be what almost everyone will be doing. <laughs> yeah, probably, right? When why you not? Get good with cooler. If I get all the invulnerability with the yeah. meter burn knockdown, like why not, it's right? It's gonna be very good. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about, he does have a beam. It's got a little bit of slow startup, but it's full screen, and you know, I think everybody needs a beam in this yes. game, you know? It feels like it's almost quintessential at this point. And he has an air version of it. It doesn't appear to go up or down. Yeah, you can't aim it. You cannot aim it, but you do have an air version. Of it. So cooler supers are interesting because some of them work pretty well, some of them don't do a ton of damage, but the practicality of the air one is, is very nice, while the ground one, which is this, looks super cool. Uh, it does a little bit more damage, but the air one you're going to be comboing into a lot more. It's like a sort of like mixed version of Frieza's level 3. Yeah. So, of course, they're brothers. They are going to share some similarities. They're going to share some similarities. Uh, like, you know, like you noticed in between those supers, the air version pushes your opponent back, yep. while the ground version actually pushes your opponent opponent back to the middle of the screen. You're definitely going to want a DHC with this guy, because yeah. approaching your opponent is always going to be hard. They're left at a huge distance. Yeah. So DHC into the next character that gets a better positional advantage, because the only super he's got that technically leaves you really close is his level three. And let's show off the level three. Oh my oh, wait, god. It's a counter. Oh, it's god. a counter, man. So you gotta so, hit me during this. <laughs> let's let's see what we'll go for. Hey! Oh my god. 
So he uh, instant transmissions behind you and gets probably some of the best damage he can get. I've noticed that comboing into this isn't insanely good, but there is ways to make this work because in the air, this ends up being a command grab That's and correct. not a counter. So Oops, in a situation bad. where you want to actually land like an air combo, you can naturally combo into it like any other level 3 brings you back down and then you get some good pressure. Uh, which I do appreciate. Comboing into level 3s on the ground in the air is important. But comboing it on the ground, like we said, turns into a counter hit, so you got to really set this one up. Correct. Uh, as you notice also, that one also pushes your opponent to the middle of the screen, so you're going to want to take care to use a mid-screen setup afterwards. Yes, absolutely. Which he has access to, because obviously his jump M, as we're going back into, has a it's great cross up. Great stuff. Oh, you might have to cross for this one because you're a big body. Yeah, here, but let's do this. I don't know if I can get this in one go. It's uh, There we go, all right. This is so tough. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, all right, here we go. Look at that. There we go. That's your mid-screen setup right there. So he yeah. definitely has setups after his level three, but you know, you gotta be ready to use that at all times. Yeah, a lot of it is situational awareness with Cooler, and while he isn't going to be super easy to jump into right at the start, there is a lot of super fun stuff, and that's what I yeah. appreciate. He's a really fun character. I think so too. And that's what I wanted the most, which is why I'm happy. Let's see if we can get a crazy combo. with the setup after and uh, I think that's just about it for cooler you got anything else uh, I might have a corner combo maybe let me see if I can nail this all right there. So that's about it for us guys. That was a quick look at Cooler and Dragon Ball Fighters coming at the end of September along with one additional character. We'll see you dudes next time. Take care.